Ta-da! And it's morning. Look, I've got pants on. Here we go. Okay, let's go. Wow, look at this. So, uh, up until this hill, weirdly, where the flats have been really icy, like essentially black ice everywhere, which is obviously not typical for the whole year, but uh, it made it interesting to try and get around, because it's just kind of like tiptoeing the whole time. But you get to see some gorgeous sights. Old Town is so beautiful. Uh, it's a old medieval, or at least the old town of Tallinn is a uh, medieval city that dates back to the 13th century. The castle dates back to the 6th century, but it was kind of lost and then brought back uh, by the crusading knights of the Teptonic Order. But the main kind of reason that the city is the way that it is, is from the, and I have to look at my notes, Hanseatic uh, League, which was a trade agreement league or a trade group between a bunch of countries all across the Baltics, uh, medieval Germans and brought all the way over to here in Estonia. And they were a trading group that would give each other discounts on, on uh, tolls and stuff like that, that just brought so much more wealth for the trade within the Baltic Sea. And Tallinn being its location where it is, was such a good route. So this city became very wealthy and very uh, affluent. That's why there was such wealth and why the city grew and it's the way that and it's the size that it is but also the way it looks it's got such beautiful uh, cathedrals and churches and great history about it from it uh, I just find it interesting that that trade agreement just created this hub of wealth on these port side cities um, and Estonia gaining uh, so Estonia um, this is the city or the capital city of Estonia and it gained its uh, kind of state because of its location um, and when the emerging nationalism of uh, Estonian people grew uh, Tallinn became this kind of hub of uh, this nationalistic uh, pride well you can understand why because it's such a beautiful city um, but yeah amazing medieval city that we're going to go explore the nooks and crannies and stuff so I've waffled it on I got really excited but I just love this city and I'm very excited that we're here it's doggy Very careful. It's so careful. It's a good idea. Whee! This is the Estonian Parliament building. That's where they do all the, the, the thinking and the saying stuff. Yeah. So the castle was closed on Sundays and the, the uh, Cathedral's got obviously services happening because it's Sunday. It's called Peak Herman. Peak Herman. Which translates to Tall Herman. Tall Herman. <laughs> oh, hi Herman. He is pretty tall. There's a museum cafe there. That's the dungeon. What's that one? This is the entrance. The legendary battle scarred tower is one, is one of the symbols of Tallinn. Ah, cool. We'll go have a bit of a wonder. Just down from the, uh, the old town walls, you got this monument, which is the modern uh, Estonian independence. Yes. The monument to the War of Independence commemorates victory to the Estonian War of Independence, which was fought from 1918 to 1920. The Soviet's main adversary in the war was the Soviet Russia. The naval forces of Great Britain and volunteers from Finland, Denmark, Sweden, and other countries supported the Estonians during the war. 
The Estonian War of Independence ended with the signing of the Tartu Peace Treaty on the 20th of February, or the 2nd of February, 1920. Oh, so it's coming out. Just little old town square. Look at every every road running off of this place looks so cute. And they serve mini pancakes. Estonia's history. Essentially trade is civilization and dealing with different people and coins from and where they're found. See that physical evidence of these uh, countries trading with each other and then you can see the goods that they traded and the coins that they used. It's fascinating. Yeah and I mean like I said before uh, Tallinn being such a hub for trade and this being the guild hall it's uh, obvious that they would have such an emphasis on it, but yeah, seeing it spelled out with just like how much culture can be tra traded as well as goods can be traded. Is it Malta, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. But they Again. essentially they traded language. Yeah. It's a very similar situation that is, is geographical position in yeah. the hub of Europe yeah. created the culture around it, kind of thing. It's very cool. God, I never thought I'd be this much of a nerd. <laughs> Shield. They got some, they're so cool. Oh wow. Just prepare yourself, this will be our future basement. <laughs> societies had their own role in organising the economic security and spiritual life of the town and jointly cared, caring for the poor and diseased. So the guilds themselves had generated their own government, pretty much. Guild seal and stuff. Oh, it's the masons. Yeah. The guild of the scissor people. Mm -hmm. See the locksmiths with the keys and stuff. It's so cool. Okay, so uh, wood turners left the um, carpenters and made their own guild. <laughs> Because they were that important. Oh yeah, yeah. Differentiation. Yeah, but actually, imagine making a spinning wheel inside of a bottle. What the heck? Just to prove that. That's just to, pr to prove how <laughs> skilled they were. museum is actually really impressive. Mm. First of all, pretty. Um, also goes like from Viking Age all the way through history, Middle Ages, early modern period, late modern. And it also gives you examples of like, how much things would have cost in those times. Yeah, we didn't get it before, this is the entrance door. Oh my god, it's thick. But this is, this is those... The seals, the guild hall. Yeah, it's those uh, guild members showing off again. <laughs> Right, let's go find another museum. flag with a silvery white cross on it. This reinvigorated the Danes and helped them win the battle. 
Um, these events can be considered the first mention of Tallinn at the beginning of the formation of the city, but also it's the formation of the Danes using that red flag with the white cross oh, on wow. it as their flag. Um, and it's also linked to the Tallinn uh, coat of arms. Very cool. <laughs> this wouldn't be too bad for an art studio, would it? And now we're outside. Go to the next tower. This is cool. Tower. That's a good medieval door. I don't think he likes me. He doesn't like being a door. Well, it's always amazing to be in the old town and to be able to see the modern part of the city being um, built up. Cities are always alive and developing and evolving. It's very cool. It's nice to, to learn all of that when you're in a museum and it says about how it all has changed. It's cool. It's interesting. Trust me. the uh, prison. Oh god, please be careful. It's very icy. Prevalent to go backwards down here. <laughs> like on my ass. Well, at least they had a fireplace. Yeah, that was nice. Document this moment where um, we just went to a little town. We didn't vlog it because it was like a bit of a left turn. <laughs> It was like the history of cafes in Estonia. Mm -hmm. And I guess it must be important because the top of this tower is also a cafe. But um, I guess it's not open. And we're just having a pit stop here. We made a plan for the rest of the day. We feel quite happy with what we've done and explored. And the old town is gorgeous and very enjoyable. Estonia is very beautiful. Well, oh, you at least though it's old town. You can see people ice skating down there. <laughs> very sweet. I like the music about Estonia. Yeah, it's very cute. <laughs> it's such a beautiful song. It's a really nice song. <laughs> He's enjoying himself, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> right, we've seen to a. Fa I think we found a nice cafe. We're gonna go there, have some food, and then pond. Uh, oh, and then yeah, museum. And this is it. Whoa. We'll try. Let's go see. Yeah. It's a marzipan makers. This is so amazing. Wow. That's so cool! It's really impressive. That's really... Wow. If only we didn't have like only one bag on us. <laughs> oh that's cool. I like the like the giraffe. <laughs> I don't mind. This is just off the, the town square and it's very you, you're not, 
Yeah, you're not stuck for cool themed places to eat, are you? Look at this place. What oh, is a museum? I'm surprised how many steps we've done this this day. And uh, the last thing we've got to do is uh, find a magnet. Find a magnet, and then we're going to go to the ferry port. Yeah. Wow, this cute little courtyard. Cute. But when you come off of the main streets, and you just find little streets like this. It's so cute. It's a really cute little artisanal little shops and stuff it's nice pretty very slippy well we're outside of the old town we did it I'm doing that, I'm doing that, I'm doing it. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> and that's it. Aww. Back back to here where we were last night. Yeah. I had a lovely time in Tallinn. It was it's very cool. The, the old town is gorgeous. So many lovely little buildings and stuff. But um are we just heading to the port now? We'll get a ferry. Go get a ferry? Yeah. And, and then, then a train. And then a train. Our first overnight train. I'm excited. Let's go. Let's go. I didn't vlog any of us walking here. It's, hard it's quite, a, quite an easy walk. It's only like a 15 minute walk yeah, from Old Town to the thingy. Here we go. Let's go check in. Got the tickets. Let's go. To the boat. Yay. Yay. We both get to go. Yeah. Thanks, Estonia. So fast. <laughs> what happened? Oh, my legs are so tired. We did a lot of walking. We did. Here we are. It's, the water is a lot less freezy over here. Yeah. We'll see how freezy it is over there. Yeah. <laughs> on a boat and we're watching the ship uh, below deck. <laughs> Don't judge me. You're not judging me, it's fine. You're also doing extra homework. Yeah, you too. Tinky, so that's good. <laughs> what? That was good. <laughs> the last walk to the station. So we're leaving from a different place. Yeah. Yeah. It's very pretty. Here we go, let's find the train. Yeah. <laughs> That's spooky. <laughs> 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 
The thing on the map uh, yes. has the train and the carriages. Yeah. We're on 62, which is actually the right at the front of the train. Ugh. So I think we have to go, and it says section C. So we'll walk all the way down. Yeah. And hopefully we'll find it. <gasps> it's backing in, it's backing in. Oh, it goes to Santa Claus land. Look at It's a long train. That's the dining car. Where's oh, gold? Bits and stuff. Oh god, it's so slippery out here. Oh my god, luxury of crunchy snow. Okay, I just get here. That's the train. Right, now we've got to crunch back and get on it. <laughs> crunch, crunch. Oh god, it's so windy and cold. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay? <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Nice. 109. Right here. Oh, come on. All right, so. <laughs> so I won't fall out. Nice. Oh, well, I suppose that's like if the train suddenly breaks. Yeah, yeah. That's smart. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of flying off. Yay! This is so cute. This is our thing. Okay. Also. Oh, wait, so that's next door. We can't go in there. No, we can't. That's cool. Have we got a little bottle? Yeah. A little towel. And a shower. The toilet. Ooh, it's like an aeroplane. And here we are. Right. Is well, what does this do? What is it? I don't know. I'm just poking stuff now. Oh, Ooh. it's our little thing. Oh, we got a sink. You, yeah, we do. Oh, That's nice. Cool. So we can wash our faces. We can brush our teeth and stuff. These little cups and stuff. We've got a mirror. <laughs> There's a little sad seat. And we got a window. Yay. And this we've got cute. a window out there as well. This is cute. Oh, and a little, little. Pocket. Okay. Cool. Very exciting. Nice. Very cool. Right. Seeing it is, it is actually like, what's the time? 11 o'clock. Uh, it's 11 early. Um, and it leaves in about 15 minutes. So we're going to wind down, get ourselves to bed. City train to Romaniemi. Yay. Our following stops are at Pasila, Tikkurila, Riihimäki, Hämeenlinna, Toijala and Tampere. Have a pleasant journey. Oh, yeah, thanks. Yay! That was nice! Here we go. Off we go. Oh, we're so low. I think we actually left early. <laughs> What's the time? Is it quarter 13 minutes past? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it's literally 30 minutes on the dot. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> Because the train is moving all over the place. It's a it's bit the hard to wash your sink. face. <laughs> I'm so proud of it's you. It's a really good mess. <laughs> <laughs> no. Good night, everybody. <laughs>